Hey guys, I'm Dieter Melhorn, and in this video, you're going to see me chasing something I don't normally chase, and that's crappie. Yeah, I decided to go out and chase a few crappie uh, on Lake Wiley. Uh, there was a little break in the weather, things warmed up a little bit. And I noticed I, while I was out catching bait, I uh, started to see them kind of start stacking up. And I'm no, I'm no good crappie fisherman. I, I don't really know what I'm doing. Uh, but when I see them start to stack up around balls of bait, uh, a dummy like me can go catch some. Some of the bridge column there. Some different little stuff. That could be some crappie there. Not a pile of them. A few right in there. That's probably most likely crappie stacked up. I don't see any big bait balls though. I had some bait balls in here yesterday and it really was holding a lot of fish kind of scattered smathered i'm gonna check on the other side of the bridge just to see using my side scan to look out through there that looks like some stuff off to the right trying to find some bait balls don't see any like i said what i do is crappy fishing for dummies i'm no expert crappy fisherman it's sad i only got about six or eight minnows in there i want to be very proficient with my catching there's some right under the boat there. Let's see if I can get one of those to bite. Bam, stuck one. Felt him pop it. Let's see where I'm set up at. Make sure my boat stopped. Yep. Felt him thump it, thump it. Kaboom. Might try to eat that one already. <laughs> Kabam. They're there. Like I said, I'm not fusing atoms here. I'm just drop, dropping some double hook rigs down on the bottom. And uh, this works. It doesn't work all the time, but when these fish get hugging to the bottom like they are right now, you can catch some this way matter of being patient you can catch these things i've done some trolling i'm not good at it uh there's good times to do that bad times i think when the water is warmer not really sure but um messed around with it it's fun uh it seems like i start catching a lot of perch when i do that for some reason but when they're stacked up like this especially schooled up real good it's a good way to catch them. Just got to be patient. Having a good trolling motor helps. Being able to spot lock on top of them is another thing that's nice. These are not exactly stacked up. I would not call these stacked up, especially like they seemed to be yesterday. I feel a little bit of structure down there with this weight bumping on it. Now with perch, you can jig these things all around, all kinds of crazy. But it seems like more with crappie, it needs to sit still for a little while anyway. Got him, got him, got him, got him. It's almost like a quick reel on it. Boom. Another one. It's a little one there him back get my bait back too come here bait you can't have my bait <laughs> trying to find that same little group it's not like there was a group of them right in there boom got him that's a good one that's a good one. If that's a crappy, that's a good one. Or it's two of them. No, foul hook. That gummit. You gotta be good to catch them that way, buddy. You gotta be good to catch them in the side. Let's see if he goes down. Yep, he went down. You gotta be good to catch them like that.
they in here. It's just not a lot of them. Not a lot of big ones anyway. But <clears throat> do you stay hooked? No. They're right out beside that buoy is where they're at. Look, I tell you, with that buoy, thing is about putting a buoy out. It ain't got to be exactly where the fish are, but just fishing around it, you can kind of figure where they're at in relation to it. Boom, got him that time. There's a little something down there it falls off of, and when it falls off of it, boom, they thunk it, boom, there's an eater. There's two of them right there. That's nice right there, a good eater there. That's a big one. That's what you're looking for to make you a sandwich out of right there. Look at the smaller one, look at that. <laughs> Crappy for dummies. It's another one, smaller one. Let's see if that one's gonna make the cut. I don't think that one will. Nope, that one live. Boom. Should have got me some minnows at the store because I think I could catch a ton of them. But it is what it is. I'm doing this before I go chase some catfish this morning. We can smack a couple. That one there's a good eater. Now we've got a couple for bait. Now we're just looking for dumb ones. My sweet spot I think is right back over there. That seemed to be where those fish were. They don't just stay in one place, but sometimes you get an area that, for whatever reason, holds a few of them more than another. Usually it's a piece of structure, a piece of something, limb, pile of concrete, whatever. Boom, got him. Right there at that little sweet spot. Let's see what my boat's at. There we go. Like I said, you kind of use that buoy. Some of the stuff here on the pier. There's a meter. That's a good reference on where everything's at. Bam, another one. Now they do like live minnows. As you can see, I've got a piece of one on there. And a dead one. So they'll hit it, especially if they get frenzied up and feeding good. Yeah, I'm not a proficient crappy fisherman by any means. I uh, enjoy doing it, uh, especially when it's easy, especially when they're holding near the bottom. But uh, I'm not one of these guys that knows everything about them, like old Richard Gene, the fishing machine. I just catch them when they're done, catch them when they're feeding on the bottom, and uh, enjoy it when it's right. Boom, got it. Stoke him, stoke him. Just getting ready to roll my boat forward a little bit. Boom, another nice one. Another nice one. He went for that live bait. Good one. Fishing, fishing, trying to get some fish. I don't know what this cold snap is going to do. That weather's supposed to blow in today. Winds are going to start picking up. Bang. Oh, missed him. He popped off. Dad gummit. So, oh, no. He's on there. He swam at the boat. That weather's supposed to blow in. It's going to drop the temps. It's going to make it kind of yucky. Windy, anyway. There's another one. A 
these are keying on that live one a lot more. Good one there. Some folks will tell you to fish away from the boat. Uh, fish don't bite underneath the boat, I've heard that. Uh, I know it's not totally true because that's how I learned how to catch them when I was a kid, get fishing straight underneath the boat. Maybe we'd have caught more of them if we were away from the boat. But that's why I like to kind of pitch away from the boat just a little bit. That way if there is any play off the trolling motor or off the uh, sonar causing any issues, I'm away from them. I might have should have popped the hook on that one. Oh Lord, boom, there's a stack of them underneath me right now. There's a stack of them on the sonar. It's a bad time to be out of bait. Another good mess of them there. Good mess of them. I'm to check him just to make sure. I think he is. I'm getting... Look at that, folks. A bunch of them stacked right there. Bang, stuck him. Funny bike, that one barely thunk it. Barely thunk it. That's a little one. Or he's little enough, I'm letting him go. Close enough. We'll send him back to the depths. Plenty to eat. Oh, got him. That's a little one again. I think I found my little school of them. But I think he's legal. But he's going to get to go back. Just because I'm feeling the love. I caught enough. Is that all I need? Unless he's a sandwich one. If he's a big sandwich one, I might eat him. Yeah, feel him the love. Got plenty of them. Going back for others to share. Who missed that one? That's a good bite. That's a fiery bite. Let's see if I got bait left. Put a fresh men on there. We don't have many left. Thought I know the wind was going to be this slack this morning. I probably would have got some more minnows and fished for these crappy for a while, but I thought it was going to be windy. When I was out here the other day, it was very tough to stay up underneath this bridge because all the uh, wind was getting funneled up underneath it and it was tough. You really had to kind of anchor up and do it. It's not fun fishing. Big truck, big crappie. Okay, he's not a big crappie. Actually got away right there at the boat. Thunk shot. Dive, dummy. Dive. Trying to get him to go down. All right, last bait. A lonely little minnow. Let's see if we can get one more. One more. One more cast, as Shaw Grigsby used to say on his show. One more cast. We're gonna finish with the small one. That's okay. 
that's okay. Got our bait and everything. It's all right. It's a good way to finish. Finish with a fish. I guess to go back. Well, if you enjoy, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Something a little different, I know, on my channel. But uh, please consider subscribing. May, may do some more of this. We'll see. Uh, consider subscribing, smash the thumbs up, and we look forward to seeing you on the water.